Hi, I'm Lee from Ransom Spares. To help diagnose problems and replace faulty components on your electric fan assisted oven, it's necessary to understand how it works. In this video, we're going to be using this built in fan assisted indesit oven to explain each of the main important components and how they work together. This oven is a single cavity oven, which means as well as being a fan assisted oven, it also includes the grill. Some ovens are twin cavity, which simply means that they have a separate oven and grill. Let's take a look at all the main components of the oven and how they work together. First, we'll take a look at the oven element, the thermostat and the fan. For ease, I've already re removed the top cover, the rear cover and the cover that goes in front of the element. The main function of an oven is to heat up and cook our food. The heating part of the process is done by an oven element which is normally situated at the rear of the oven. Most ovens nowadays are known as what's called fan assisted. This means that at the same time the oven element is heating up, there is also a fan which distributes hot air around the cavity to ensure that cooking throughout the oven is even. And the fan is at the rear here. Temperature is regulated by the thermostat. To us this is a simple knob which we turn to our desired temperature. But behind the knob is the thermostat switch. The thermostat switch has a capillary wire that is running down into the cavity of the oven. This capillary wire is actually a tube with gas inside. As the gas heats up, the pressure buildup causes small bellows in the thermostat switch to move until they reach the predetermined temperature set by the user. The thermostat will turn the oven element on and off during the cooking cycle as the temperature gets too hot or too cold. The fan in the back of the oven should always be on when the thermostat knob is set to anything other than off. There are normally two fans in an oven, the fan that distributes the hot air during the cooking and also a cooling fan. The main problems caused by a fault with either of these three components are if you've got a faulty oven element then the oven won't heat up. We've got a video online showing you how to replace an oven element. With a faulty thermostat the oven will overheat or there will be no control over the temperature. Again, we've got a video online showing you how to replace a thermostat. If you've got a faulty fan motor, then you're going to get uneven cooking. Again, we've got a video online showing you how to replace your fan motor. Next, we're going to look at the cooling fan and the cooling fan thermal switch. The cooling fan is a cylindrical fan which is located at the top towards the rear of the oven and is operated by a thermal switch automatically. The cooling fan is designed to keep the area between the cavity and the outer casing cool. As the temperature rises it causes a bimetallic strip inside the thermal switch to turn the cooling fan on. As the temperature cools the bimetallic strip breaks the contact which in turn turns the fan motor off. When you finish cooking and turn the oven thermostat off the cooling fan motor should still be running and will be running for approximately 10 minutes or so afterwards until the oven has cooled down sufficiently. The main problems caused by a fault with either of these components are if you've got a faulty cooling fan motor overheating of internal components is a problem ensure that you can hear the fan still running after the oven thermostat has been turned off. See our video on how to replace a cooling fan motor. If you've got a problem with a the thermal switch then the cooling fan motor will continue to run even after the oven has cooled down and will run continuously. Next we're going to look at the grill element and energy regulator. As with the oven element, the grill element, which is located at the top of the machine, is responsible for the heat needed to grill our food. The grill element heat settings are controlled via an energy regulator that again sits behind a knob on the console. The energy regulator regulates the heat output by the amount of power sent to the grill element which is determined by the user. The main problems caused by a fault with either of these components are if you've got a faulty grill element then the grill simply won't heat up. We've got a video online showing you how to replace your grill element. If you've got a faulty energy regulator then the grill temperature will not be able to be regulated and will more than likely overheat. The next component we're going to look at is the function switch. On this oven, the function switch is combined with the thermostat. This switch enables the user to select which part of the oven they want to use. So if I wanted to use the grill, I need to select the grill on the function switch 
before I can turn the grill on. The main problems caused by a faulty function switch is that the oven may appear not to be working at all or some of the functions may not be working. Finally we're going to talk about the door glass, the door seal and the door hinges. Although the door area may not seem as important as the other components we've discussed, any damage or wear to them will likely lead to poor cooking performance. There will normally be an inner door glass and an outer door glass. This is to ensure that the temperature of the outer door doesn't get too hot. Obviously if there are any breaks or cracks to either of the door then they should be replaced without delay. See our video online on how to replace oven door glass. The door seal is normally fixed with clips in each corner and should be in good order and free from any sagging. If the door seal is worn or is sagging then heat will be allowed to escape and cooking performance will be affected. It will also have an effect on the amount of energy your oven is using to maintain the temperature set. Changing an oven door seal is a straightforward job though and we have a video online showing you how to do that. Finally the oven door hinges. Over time the spring within the door hinge can become sprained which will result in the door not closing properly and the heat escaping out the top. The only solution to this is by replacing the hinges. Fortunately we've got a video online showing you exactly how to do this. So now you know how an oven works you'll be much better placed to carry out DIY repairs. Remember that all oven spares can be found on the Ransom Spares website. Thanks for watching.